Eric Holuzik with All Corners Home Inspections. This is the roof evaluation for this single family home here in Dallas, Oregon. As with all the videos in this report, we would request that you view this video as supplemental to the written version of the report to which this video has been attached. At the time of inspection, there are a number of reportable challenges with the components around the single family home's gable style roof. We'll do our best to detail those challenges here in a moment. First, it should be noted that an Oregon home inspection does not include a roof warranty, meaning we make no claims as to this roof's ability to keep water out of the ceiling voids and attic spaces for the living space below. Second, maybe more importantly, is that we highly recommend that this roof be evaluated and maintained professionally for the duration of its useful service life, as a well-maintained and evaluated home is generally the one that will meet that, uh, that useful service life. We've got uh, lifted shingles adjacent to uh, this heating and air conditioning stack, the midline of the structure. Especially during snow events, uh, water will accumulate at the underside of this flashing and have the opportunity to work its way in and around uh, the collar there. We'd recommend a licensed roofing contractor be called upon to evaluate that condition as well as this next one prior to the beginning of the next rainy season. We've got areas of loose but still rigid and intact shingles along the rear portion of the roof line. An intact shingle, generally speaking, won't leave the roof line, but it will be one that we need to monitor over time as a thinning shingle, as a, as a shingle that becomes thin over time, will fatigue and generally release from the fasteners directly below it. There's debris in the gutter line at the rear portion of the roof line, and these roof uh, uh, joists for the rear patio cover uh, are in direct contact with the... Uh, roof line uh, at all of these locations greatly uh, deteriorating the roofing material and creating perforations in the roofing material. Recommend that a licensed roofing contractor be called, called upon for this uh, issue as well. Uh, the uh, assembly of the rear patio cover is less than workmanlike in its characteristics with a midline splice present at the uh, front portion of the patio cover here. This sort of condition uh, would uh, allow for uh, splaying of that particular joint. We'd recommend a licensed uh, contractor with recent demonstrated experience managing such issues get up here to evaluate and make any necessary alterations or changes, uh, repairs to the roof and associated components. Eric Holuzik, All Corners Home Inspections.